drop him, drop him. One hook and I'll rock him. One more and I'll stop him. Call the fighter, I'll up him, up him, up him. If he reaches, I'll pop him. Street sweeper, I'll wash him. Homicide, come and chop him. Drop him, drop him. One hook and I'll rock him. One more and I'll stop him. Call the fighter, I'll up him, up him, up him. The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is Usyk's manager says that the IBF's ruling of making uh, Hergovich the mandatory challenger will not stop their undisputed fight with Tyson Fury. This is according to an article from Sky Sport. Let's take a quick look. All right, so here's the article. Excuse me. It says Alexander Usyk versus Tyson Fury. Flip Hergovich mandatory will not influence the undisputed heavyweight title fight, says Usyk promoter. Uh, the need to fight mandatory challenges won't obstruct Alexander Usyk's plans to box Tyson Fury for the undisputed heavyweight championship. Next, his team tells Sky Sports Usyk has also encouraged has also been encouraged to box once again in the UK. His message has been inspirational. And this is John uh, Denon, who's the sports journalist for this. And basically uh, what it states is a uh, flip Hergovich promoter declared the creation would become mandatory for the IBF belt. One of three belts that Usyk holds. Uh, but Usyk means to pursue a showdown with Fury, the WBC champion for all four of the major heavyweight belts. His promoter informed Sky Sports that they intend for his next fight to be the undisputed clash with Fury. Uh, regarding Herkovich's claim for a mandatory shot at Usyk, uh, Alex Krezuk, uh, who promotes the Ukrainian, told Sky Sports at this stage, I can anticipate that it will not influence the undisputed anyhow. Fury puts his title on the line against Derek Tazora at Tottenham uh, Hotspur. On December 3rd, top rank Bob Arum, who represents the Britain, uh, has said he won't sign anything until after the fight, but he is holding talks with Usyk. The Ukrainian has made it clear that he is only interested in the Fury fight next. So that's what the article stated, that they are in the process of speaking and working with um Bob Arum to make the fight with Tyson Fury. Although Flip Herkovich has been made the mandatory, and as Eddie Hearn stated, they are looking to get an immediate purse bid so that that would lock Usyk into fighting um, Herkovich or being or vacating the belt. So, Trill Dollar Bill, what's your reaction to uh, Usyk's manager saying he doesn't think that the ruling is going to stop undisputed? Good for me. <laughs> you know, that's the fight that I want to see. I'm just glad that, uh, you know, they, they, they're they speaking my language, that they're not going to, or well, he don't think that the IBF would do such a thing as try to stop this monumental fight for history. Um, they talking the right language. That's all I got to say. Hopefully, because... <laughs> And listen, I, I don't want to say I believe it when I see it, you know what I'm saying? But I just hopefully, hopefully they, they don't do nothing to mess this up. Once they drop that bag off to the IBF, whoever <laughs> they may be, the IBF says, you must fight Hergovich. <laughs> hopefully that's after. That's after Undisputed is made. But, um, yeah, but Tyson Fury, you do what you got to do against Jashar and – uh, Usyk's manager, you keep your, your 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 foot on the IBF's neck so we can get this undisputed happen. Because I don't I don't want to. I doubt this would be disappointing. This would definitely be disappointing for me. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Dalton. No, no. I was just saying this would be really disappointing for me. Like I I, I really want to see it. I really want to see it. All right, G. Yeah. Um. I I do agree with Usyk's manager. Um, for the simple fact that, you know, like unifications trump mandatories anyways. And the fact that, you know, undisputed is the, the greatest unification there is in the division. Like, obviously, the I, IBF are going to be like, I right, man, you know, make that happen. But the issue is 
Fury and Usyk haven't locked in a date. And so if they haven't locked in a date, that's why Eddie is moving in for the kill because he's like, yo, they don't even have Undisputed on the books yet. So you need to activate that that mandatory clause. You know what I'm saying? Like the mandatory uh, 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 fight right now. That's what he's trying to do, you know? And he's hoping that uh, Herkovich <laughs> could, have, by some miracle, defeat Usyk. You know what I mean? And Herkovich can have, you know, three out of the four belts now. So I understand what Eddie is doing. I understood why IBF had to do it. But I also understand what Usyk's manager is saying and what Bob is saying, right? Like, I think the fact that Bob has went to the media and is saying that, hey, although our focus is on Chisora right now, we are in talks with Usyk's team to set up Undisputed, right? So that way, once this Chisora thing is over with, I think they're going to go to immediate negotiations. They're going to sign a deal probably within like uh, four four to five days of the Chisora um, fight. So that way, IBF could back off and be like, oh, okay, well, you know, seeing that now uh, this unification fight is occurring, hey, Herkovic, you're just going to have to wait. You're going to get next, you know, and that just is what it is. And that's rightfully so. It should be like this. You know, the, the, the four belts, all these governing bodies, they all agree, you know, that, hey, this is now a four belt era. You know what I'm saying? We got to work together to create Undisputed. So I don't believe that IBF is just going to be simply like, yo, F all of that. Like, nah, you can't do that. We want Herkovic versus, uh, you know, Alexander Usyk. Like, yo, stop it, bro. Ain't nobody want to see that. They're going to let Tyson Fury uh, go up against Usyk. Only right, it only makes sense. And then Herkovic just gets uh, the winner afterwards. Yeah. So I feel like we we kind of discussed this situation a few weeks ago where um, Herkovich was made the mandatory and Eddie Hearn was pushing for um, an immediate purse bid because if it got pushed to an immediate purse bid, then Flip Herkovich would be the only person who can give an exception to Alexander Usyk to fight for Undisputed. Um, that hasn't happened, but Eddie Hearn is still uh, pushing for it because that's what he wants to see happen and mainly because it benefits him because – if that does happen, then Hergovich would have to fight Andy Ruiz for the vacant IBF title if Usyk vacates. Because if Usyk doesn't accept the fight and, and it goes on with fighting Tyson Fury, then Hergovich would have to fight Andy Ruiz. But if Andy Ruiz doesn't accept the fight, then Hergovich would fight Anthony Joshua for the vacant IBF title, which would give Anthony Joshua or Hergovich the belt and Eddie Hearn is involved with both of their careers, so it would help him. So the fact that the IBF hasn't made an immediate purse bid, to me, I'm happy about that. And I hope they don't make an immediate purse bid. And the reason is because if you do that, then you're going to make it difficult for Usyk to fight for Undisputed. And I think that if you do that, you're creating a situation where I don't think the IBF is doing what's best for boxing or their organization. It's clearly better for your organization to be a part of the biggest fight in boxing history, um, as well as um, support fighters in unifying to become undisputed. Once that fight is done, I'm pretty sure Usyk will be willing to vacate these belts and let these other fighters fight for them. Um, but still, I think the IBF would would lose significance if they pull this move. I think a lot of fighters are going to look at the IBF and say, you made the decision to stop a fighter from fighting for Undisputed, and other fighters are going to look down upon the organization for that. Uh, a lot of fans will look down on the organization for that as well, particularly myself. If that's the move you pull, because it's like, are you doing what's in the best interest of boxing or what's in the best interest of the promoters that pay your sanctioning fees, Right. Because at the end of the day, Usyk and Fury are both in negotiations and they're both talking. And there was also an article where Usyk's manager said they agreed that they're going to fight each other. So, um, you know, after this after this Derek Tazora fight, give them a time frame. 
and say you got two weeks or whatever, to me, that would be fair. But to just automatically make a purse bid right now, knowing that they're in talks to do it next would seem sketchy. So I would say to the IBF, you should at least wait until after, which it seems like they're going to do because the fight's next week. Wait until after Fury and Chisora fight each other. If Fury wins, then give them a deadline to hammer out, um, you know, a date and sign contracts for Undisputed. And if it doesn't happen by that date, then you can make an immediate purse bid. And I think that would be fair for all parties involved. Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. We are the Boxing Bros.